Listen, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَا مِنْ مُسْلِمٍ جَرْعُ بِدْعَوَةٍ لَيْسَ فِيهَا إِثْمٌ وَلَا قُطِيعَةُ الرَّحِيمٌ The Prophet said, no Muslim make dua, and this dua is pure, it's a good dua, it doesn't contain sinful action. You're not asking Allah to commit haram, you're not asking Allah to do what? قُطِيعَةُ الرَّحِيمٌ To break off ties from your loved ones. The Prophet says, إِلَّا أَعْطَوَهُ اللَّهُ أَبِيهَا إِحْدَثَ لَا This is it. Allah responds to our dua in three ways, in one of three ways. Either when you make dua, Allah will give you exactly what you ask for. Ya Allah, I want a car. Allah make things easy for you so you can get a car. Or, that's the first way, Allah responds to your dua right away. No doubt. The second way is that Allah will save your dua. The dua you are making, instead of responding to it in this life, Allah will keep it for you on the day of judgment. Yawmul Qiyamah. Allah will reward it for you. Some of the scholars, you know what they said? They said, when the person, when you see the reward Allah has kept for you on the day of judgment, you would wish that Allah had not answered none of your dua. Because the reward on the day of judgment will be so beautiful. You'll be so happy with it. Allah Akbar. Then the third way, Allah answered your dua. This is very important. You make making dua and you don't see the response, but guess what? The Prophet said, the third way is that Allah will divert away from you a hardship that was meant to be for you. Maybe something was supposed to come in your life. A hardship, difficulty, death of a child, maybe a sickness was meant for you. But because of your dua, Allah kept it away from you.